zoax.net. Multiplying. To multiply two numbers, like two and three, we can count out two objects like tennis balls. One, two, and then make three groups just like that one. One, two, three. Counting out all of the tennis balls that we have, we get one, two, three, four, five, six. So two times three equals six. Six is called the product of two and three. If we want to multiply the numbers in the opposite direction, say three times two, we count out three tennis balls, one, two, three, and then make two groups like that one, one, two. Counting out all of the tennis balls that we have again, we get one, two, three, four, five, six tennis balls. So three times two is six also. We just saw that two times three is six, and three times two is also six. So it does not matter which order we multiply the numbers in, two times three equals three times two. This demonstrates the commutative property of multiplication. Let's try another example, three times four. If we take three toadstools, one, two, three, and multiply that four times, one, two, three, four, then we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve toadstools. So the product of three times four is twelve. If we take it in the opposite order, we have four times three. So take one, two, three, four toadstools and multiply that by one, two, three. Then we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve toadstools again, just as we had before. So the product of four times three is twelve. The commutativity of multiplication tells us that three times four is equal to four times three, and we have seen that the value is twelve either way. Let's look at two times five. If we take two cars, one, two, and multiply that five times, one, two, three, four, five, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cars total. So the product of two times five is ten. On the other hand, we can look at five times two. Take one, two, three, four, five cars and times that by one, two, and we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cars again. So the product of five times two is ten again. That is two times five equals five times two, and the product is ten either way by commutativity. Now let's look at another example, three times three. We can count out three crosses, one, two, three, and multiply that three times. One, 
two, three, and we end up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine crosses total. So the product of three times three is nine. Here's another way to look at multiplication. If we take a line segment that is five units long and multiply it by four units using another line segment that is four units long, we get a region that has an area that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty square units. So five times four equals twenty. If we rotate the region, we can see that multiplication works the other way too. That is, four times five is also twenty.